When I'm in the Philippines, people smack me on the butt. Welcome to the Mall of Asia. Hey what's up guys, my name is Mike, I am a travel vlogger and food vlogger and currently I am in Manila, the Philippines and right now I am in the SM Mall of Asia. This crazy huge super mall in the Philippines is 42 hectares large. It is the fourth biggest shopping mall in the Philippines and the 12th biggest shopping mall in the whole world. I'm gonna venture out here and see what kind of stores and what kind of food and what kind of toys they have, what kind of people are here, hello! <laughs> and just see what this amazing mall has to offer. The mall here is put together by four buildings. The main building, the entertainment building, the south parking and the north parking. And all these buildings are interconnected by walkways. It seems super confusing because other than uh, in malls in America and in Europe where you have kind of food courts, food is spread out all over. So you'll have just like regular stores and then you'll have a food store and then you'll have a fashion store and then again a food store then a coffee shop so it's all mixed up together you really need to know where you're going unless you don't want to go anywhere specific and just walk around and discover I guess for that it's probably good but so far I've seen everything from Starbucks to KFC to Jollibee to Forever 21 to Zara and I've only made like two steps into the mall So maybe I can do a little challenge for myself here. I need an HDMI cable for my camera. I urgently need a good cup of coffee and I need a bite to eat. So I'm gonna try and navigate my way through this mall and find all those three things today. I hope I'll make it. I'm gonna head towards the cyber zone, which is in this direction. I'm guessing cyber zone means like electronics and that kind of stuff. Oh, we have our first little coffee place here, but you guys know that I'm a huge coffee nerd and I'm not gonna go for just regular Illy coffee, I'm gonna go for a specialty coffee shop. I've seen this at every mall, but there's kind of like a security checkpoint whenever you go into a mall. But I don't really know why we're going, oh, oh there's the cyber zone. All right, so here we have everything from Samsung to Samsung again, Canon. This looks like I might be at the right spot. I mean, these are all just electronic shops. There's like all sorts of, oh, there's even a Sony even a Sony player. So if you guys don't know, I'm filming on a Sony, so I seem to be going in the right direction here. Ah, oh, it's Sony telephones, not Sony cameras. Oh. You have HDMI cables for the cameras? One out of three. Now, I know this might not seem like a big deal that I got an HDMI cable, but an HDMI to micro HDMI is not a thing they regularly have in stock. They didn't have it anywhere in Miami, I had to buy it on Amazon. They didn't have it anywhere in Upper Austria, I just did, couldn't get it. And now, here, I got my HDMI to micro HDMI cable. This is good news. Ooh, I did not know there was a wellness zone. But there is. Ooh, they have an anchor store. Oh my god, look at all these beautiful power banks. You have a USB-C power bank? Ah, uh, yes sir. We have the PowerCore Plus 2100 USB-C power bus. Can it charge a MacBook Pro as well? Uh, MacBook only, sir. Uh, not MacBook Pro? Not MacBook Pro. Uh, okay. And the, uh, is this new, the USB-C bar? Yes, sir. Uh, but this is a uh, data hub, sir. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yes, sir. Data hub. I, I didn't know there was one like this. Okay, I'm done in the cyber zone. I'm either running in circles or there's about, I don't know, 100 McDonald's in this mall. Okay, I'm gonna head over to the entertainment mall, entertainment hall. I keep mixing up the names here in this mall hall thing. And hopefully I'll find some uh, interesting food concepts over there. I am a little bit hungry already, so it's a good time to eat. By the way guys, I am not sure if you can tell, but I'm really battling vlogging on my own again. Now that Nelly's not here, um, it's kind of hard because I have nobody to have a conversation with on the vlogs but I'm um, trying to do my best so let me know in the comments down below if this is getting a little bit boring listening to me talking to the camera or uh, 
or if it's okay. Oh my god, it's so big! Wow, they even have an Ace Hardware store here. So I'm just gonna try a juice. It's a sugar cane with lemon zest. That's good, that's really nice. Papuru, Thai corn, and shiz mama. Wonder if this potato madness is healthy. Guys, I've seen these eight cut burger places all over town lately. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if it's good, if I should give it a try. You guys know that I'm a big burger nerd, so let me know. And I know this place is good because I went there with Nelly last time we were in Manila. And the ramen was so phenomenal. Maybe I should get my food there again. Or should I try something new? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, and it's our favorite uh, Filipino food restaurant. Manam is here as well. That's awesome. Okay, I seem to have landed in kind of the uh, food area because there's like a ton of restaurants all around us. And it seems to be that these walkways in between that are outside are the places that host all these restaurants or where all the restaurants are located. I got another recommendation for eight cuts, so I'm toying with the thought of having burgers today. But damn, those ramen were also so good. So I might try those again, I don't know. But first off, guys, number two, mission number two, get coffee. Oh my God, there's even a Halal Guys here. Halal Guys is a very famous uh, street food from New York City. Um, they're really, really good. They opened up a store in Miami and they seemingly are here as well. What on earth is a hypermarket? I've heard of a supermarket, but never a hypermarket. Wow, so on a full walk through here, I've seen everything from Filipino specialties, Indonesian specialties, Chinese specialties, Japanese specialties, Thai specialties, uh, Western cuisine, French cuisine, Italian cuisine, Spanish cuisine. I think they have it all. They literally have it all. You could come out here, I think, for a whole month, every day, and you still wouldn't have even scratched the surface of all the different restaurants that, that are here in the food stands. It's not just restaurants, it's like a ton of food stands as well. This is not getting easier for me to make a decision. Okay, so status update. I've seen a ton of coffee shops and I think just saying I want to get coffee is a little bit too easy. I'm gonna specify it. I wanna get specialty coffee and it should have latte art. I know, I know malls have Starbucks and all that kind of stuff but never a good coffee shop with latte art, so let's give that a try. Tokyo Ice Cafe. Hello. Hi. Okay, got the cable, got the coffee, now it's time for food. And this is gonna be the really hard part because there's so many, so, so, so many options. Coffee was a great success and uh, walking back into the mall area here, I made a very uh, interesting realization. Every time I seem to go through the uh, safety checkpoint outside, the security guards give me a slap on the bum. And I think I figured out why. I'm generally a little bit taller than the people are here, so, they used to giving the people a pat on the back when they walk in, but because I'm tall and have especially long legs, my back starts kind of a little bit further up. So essentially, when I'm in the Philippines, people smack me on the butt. And another Jolly Bee. I decided to have ramen again today because you know every day that you're gonna have ramen is a good day. And I came back to the place that I went with Nelly last time I was here and I thought I'd come here again so I could show you guys because it's really good and I find price-wise it was also really, really good. So the way it works is you have a little menu card that you fill out with a pen and essentially you put in how strong you want your ramen, what kind of noodles, how thick you want them, how well done you want your noodles, what kind of meat you want in it. So you fill that all out in here and then they just bring you your food. Really awesome. <laughs> Starting off with some cucumber salad, which I absolutely love. Oh. 
My ramen just came and I'm so excited for this. I'm excited every time I eat ramen. I'm excited every time I eat actually. Oh, that's so good. Mm. And I especially love the salty egg that comes with it. Mm. Yes, Oof. All right, guys, I am back at the hotel again. This hotel is uh, actually the Trip Hotel by Windham, which is directly next to the Mall of Asia, so it's really practical. You can literally just walk over there if it's not raining. And it's also located pretty close to the airport. And I must say, I am so exhausted right now. Running through that mall for hours is really strenuous and uh, really interesting, on the other hand. But now I'm just glad to be back in my cozy hotel. I'm gonna lay down in the hotel room and start editing some videos. I hope you enjoyed this um, Mall of Asia vlog. If you did, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know that you enjoyed the video in the comments section. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day and goodbye.